All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to do first pick Magnum this time. Uh, we just finished up first pick Bulwark and didn't get enough of weird RTA, so we're going to go and get Magnum in there. Here's how my Magnum's built. He's 30k HP, um, 1300 defense, not a ton of attack, about 1100, and no speed at all, right? Crit, crit rate, you can see it there. Accuracy, you need a little bit for the strip. Skill 1 ignores damage reduction effects, so like shields and stuff. Not quite maxed out. I put all my... Um, skill ups from the event into magnum because i didn't have a million snipers skill two is max thank goodness it's on a three turn cooldown it's 100 percent beneficial effect remove and does damage based on the number of beneficial effects removed and then skill three is what makes them interesting the bar increases by 25 percent anytime the enemy gets a beneficial effect so an aoe buff for the enemy is an instant turn for uh for magnum here so he is on despair because my theory is i want to use him generally for cutting cleaves you know because they usually have some sort of buff um, and he cuts cleaves, he takes all the buffs, and gets a shot to, to stun with Despair. It's a long shot because you're looking at multiple uh, checks. You know, you got to get through the accuracy check, his accuracy is 46%, and then you got to get the Despair check, which is 25%, so really low chance, but that's, that's the thought. So we'll see how it goes. Let's get him into RTA, and, you know, maybe it'll just be the saddest of things, but maybe it'll be all right. We'll see. Who knows, right? I have not played him first pick ever. Um, I've gotten into him into a couple of matches. There was one match the other day where someone banned him, and I won. That was weird. Let's see. If he takes my Magnum, I'm going to be disappointed. All right. Whew. That was close. All right, so we're going to take Magnum. Does Ganny do anything for us? Hmm. I mean, I don't want to get Ganny Hathor, so I guess I take Ganny and try to figure out a use for him. Where is that Ganny? Where are you? There you are. See how often I get him in, into matches. Because right now, Ganny is not refreshing any one of you's. Magnum does not need refreshes. Oh, okay. So you're telling me to bring in Taris. I hear you. Loud and clear, friend. Um, I guess we'll go Fran, right? That's always a good idea. Fran Ganny is a thing. Water. Monkey. And that thing. I think that's buff removal, right? Tracks all enemies. 75% chance. That's so full AoE buff removal. So that's how he's intending to do uh, Hathor there. Hmm. I'm tempted to go Verd. But Verd into Water Monkey. I think I'm leaving that Water Monkey up because that's the only thing he has that gives buffs. Maybe I'll go Sierra and ban his control. I think I'll do that. We'll ban the control. Oh. Bans that. I mean, that's a good, good choice. So what's going to happen here? My favorite things to counter the ponies are Sierra and Antares. So getting them both in is great. Um, you put a bomb on a pony, it doesn't want to change, right? It hates that. So we've, we're looking pretty good there. The whole point of Gany here is going to be refresh the Fran or possibly the Sierra as is you know kind of dependent. The only buffs Magnum's going to get are the... This guy's skill one, right? The punchy beast monk thing. Um... If he shields with his pony, which means I'm probably already in good shape, or once the water guy does his thing, I'll get a nice little buff there. So we have to buff and assume that, I mean, he might still totally take it, but we have to, right? We have no choice. So we're going to go into him. Hug. Oh, yeah, hug. So we're going to go ahead and refresh the Fran, assuming worst case scenario. I'm really curious what he's going to do. And he hugs the water guy. Oh, look, I got a little bit of a turn there. See, from that buff? Yeah. Beneficial effects. That's not good. I need my beneficial effects. It's like he knew that and planned accordingly. Now what's he going to do? I think I'm going to shut down... Oh, he's going for my sniper. That's probably my tankiest unit, though. But, I mean, wow, that's some pretty good damage. All right, so let's see if we can take all this stuff. Ready? Here we go. We got it all. Look at that. That's pretty fun. So now we're one Sierra turn away from murder. Murder of Water Monkey. Don't kill him. I need him. I mean, I don't need him, need him, but I would like to need him. Oh gosh, here we go. Antares, where are you? I need you. He does not get the stun. Sweet. This looks like a dead sniper to me, though. Maybe he'll try to stun Sierra, though. Nope. Oh, maybe he'll do it both. Both things. Why not both? All right, so now we're going to... So I think the Water Monkey is the right choice, but I think I'm going to go for the Perna and try to be thinking ahead a little bit because I'm behind, right? I got to I gotta get ahead. 
So my hope is I'll kill this, I'll buff up with Fran, and then I'll come back around and get the uh, the Perna on the next time. I guess I do do skill three, even though it's blocked on the other two. Hey, what's up, Thought? I think I have to, because skill two would have healed a little bit more, but I think I felt more comfortable with skill three. So we'll see. That may have been the wrong choice. Pow, 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 pow. Dead. So I think that's full on dead. Like actual real dead. Yeah, there's no way I can win this. So we'll go ahead and quit out of this. So first sniper play. I, I blame on Ganny. That's on Ganny, right? He was too useless. Ganny's useless a lot. Ganny legit did nothing. So we'll try to avoid. I'll try to avoid him next time. Sniper almost did something. I, I'm going to consider that borderline almost a win. So see, the Hathor again. Um... I guess I will go Fran, I guess. Fran's good-ish. Now what's he gonna do? Because I've given him Ganny Hathor if he wants. He does, he wants. So I, it's good for me to watch people Ganny Hathor also, um, because in theory, I'll get good at that at some point, right? All right, so we're gonna go Verd. Antares maybe? I'm tempted to take Pony, but it would have to be at the very end. So let's... No, let's go Oki. We'll give him a little bit of a scare. A little bit of a speed scare. Vanessa's also a good choice. See, this is just a really nice Ganny Hathor team. I am a fan of his business. Alright, so I think I'm banning the Hathor. I've got the Sniper. I've got, like, minimal healing. Is the Pony a good choice? The Pony's not terrible. I think I'm going to bring the Pony. Pretty low on damage, though. That's all right. Let's do it. Let's get. Let's put him to. Put him to the test a little bit. So we're going to ha leave. We're going to take the Hathor out. Is that the right choice? We've got immunity, though. Maybe I take out the speed lead and rely on my swift sets. If I do that, I have to reset the Tiana. And there's no guarantee I'll have. No, I can't like any Hathor through. I can't. There's no guarantee that I'll be able to get around the way he like takes stuff and cool stuff down. So I'm gonna have to deal with. Uh, I'm gonna have to deal with the way this is gonna go. I guess I'll take accuracy, huh? Because we're going second. His only buff is the water monkey. So I might get to cut that way. This this feels bad though. Just FYI, if that was not clear, this feels bad. It's almost like taking light sniper first puts you in a spot when it comes to picks. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, same, same issue as always by being faster than these. Yeah, we'll decline to buff. Hey, look at us. Look at us now. So we're going to cool down the Gany, right? Get it. So that's kind of something. Oh my gosh, is that always quad? It feels like it's always quad. Why didn't he do Winds of Change? I would have preferred that immensely. So based on turn order, I should have buffed with Fran. I just didn't see it, right? Right? Because if I had picked Fran, I wouldn't have gotten quad stun based on the way the turns went. Ooh, that was lucky. Oh, that's, that's a dead Fran. One defense break is dead. Man, ain't a triple stun. Well, it's like we're always behind, right? Which makes sense. Like, I'm down a unit um, because I'm picking kind of a dead unit into a not great situation for it. And so it shows in the gameplay. I don't quite have all the tools I need um, to deal with what's happening to me, right? I mean, I've got pretty good, I've got some pretty good options, but not quite enough. Like, the option of having, like, a Josephine over a uh, Magnum would be pretty huge in most of these matches. So it's, it's interesting just to see how these things work, because look at that, another triple. I need to read that guy's skill, because if it is 100%, that's really sad for me, because I, fa I face him all the time. So we got some bar there, but it didn't end up mattering because we were stunned. The other issue we have here is none of our guys are on violent. We're on swift, despair, and broken. So we are, throughout the match, going to fall... 20% behind just on turns, right? Get the removal. So that's something. Um, I don't know that there's a great cooldown here. I guess we'll do Ciara. 
maybe live one more turn. Yeah, she was so good. I would be super happy to pull him. He would, him or Tiana would sort of, uh, yeah, we're done here, would kind of complete my Gany Hathor really nicely. Like, I, I would feel comfortable running what he's running because it's it's a Gany Hathor with um, no great counter pick. Like, it kind of gives you a lot of options. So, good job, him. So, we're 0 and 2 with Light Sniper. Our goal is 1 and 4, is what we're shooting for. We will take 2 and 3. Like, we will really take 2 and 3, but I think 1 and 4 might be more realistic. All right, first pick Sniper. These guys are like, sweet, free points. I love those. Those are my favorite kind of points. He should pick Wusa Velijul. Oh, kind of. Eh, not quite. All right, so I kind of want to take... Do I just go Gany Hathor? I kind of want to try it, but Gany Hathor into Vert is not great. We're definitely going to go Hathor at the very least. Hathor Ager? Let's go Hathor Josie. I'm tired of getting stunned. I'm getting stunned all the time. Oh, he picked Wusa. He is he gonna ban my sniper though? That feels like he's gonna ban my sniper, doesn't it? That's a sniper banny type thing to do. So we're gonna pick Bulwark, get our boy back in the game, and then I'm thinking maybe Antares or Ciara, because I'm currently banning Verd, right? Banning Verd, dealing with a uh, pony. Antares or Ciara. Or Gany. No, we'll go in Tars. He, I can't believe he picked Wusa. That makes me happy. He's going to ban that sniper, though, isn't he? I feel like he's going to ban that sniper. I've got three forms of buff removal. Technically four if you count Bulwark's first. And he's picked two forms of buff. Ooh, chow time. Hmm. How much death will chow do to me? I'm guessing quite a bit. I feel good against the Diana. The, I don't really want to face the Verd, but I think Chow might be the bigger problem. What's up, Mang Mang? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I think if I ban that Chow, I have a decent shot. I'm not going to be a fan of all the turn cycling that's going to happen, um, but I think I'm just going to deal with it. Bans the Bulwark. He wants to see. He wants. He wants the Sniper. He's like, yeah, that's what I want to see. I'm here to see the Sniper. Do I take Crit, though? Maybe Crit's smarter. I mean, it helps... What am I trying to resist? Not a lot, right? Just Fran first skill and Wusa. I'm going to take Crit, because that makes the Sniper a little bit better. Like, he's kind of trash right now on this Crit. So we'll see how it goes. My biggest problem is I have no healing, right? You ban the Bulwark. And he's going to just kind of hang out for a while. Interesting. Got a lot of control. Let's just see if we can uh, put it to use. In theory, we can sleep and taunt into full Hathor, maybe? Oh, Sniper's getting a turn. You ready? Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> All right. Who do we hate? I think we hate Fran, right? Yeah. No, let's hate Diana. There we go. And then we're going to sleep Fran. And then we're kind of ready to go into Hathor, like real Hathor. Why'd you let the, the sniper through just to kill it? Oh, that's that's real bad for him. That is not what he wants to see. Unfortunately, it didn't do as much as I would have liked, but that's okay. We're going to taunt the bird and hope to get a full Hathor off. Come on, full Hathor. Look at that pony not getting stuff. That makes me happy. All right. Full Hathor, right? Fran has not done her Fran thing yet, so we're going to try to take all of her attack bar. Got it. So I guess Wusa's our target, right? That seems pretty clear to me. Even though our sniper loves Wusa. Don't hate on him. All right, Wusa. Just me and you now. We're just going to snipe you out. Still looking good. I always like double check the sleeps. Like, are they really asleep? Like I get freaked out. Oh, that looks like a sniper turn to me. Yup, and we shoot through this shield. So let's see that in action. Bam, we don't care about your shield. I mean, it's not like we do a ton of damage, but we don't care about your shield. Um, I'm thinking the Verd. We don't want you to take a million turns. We want to take a million turns. You take normal amounts of turns. Now we're going to go on this girl. Don't even get through the shield. See if we can't taunt her. We do. 
additional turn. Getting some damage in. So I'm I I'm thinking she's gonna do her buff, but I don't exactly know what she's gonna do. The Fran, I mean. Oh, Josephine, alright, so. See if we can't stun a bird. Do not. Oh, we get stunned. That was not what I expected. So she's gotta do her third skill, right? No, she goes for the heal. Interesting. Alright, so we're going to. I think we're gonna snipe her. Take all her stuff. We miss it. We miss it all. That was bad. And we're gonna go back to work on my little pony here. He really wants that sniper, doesn't he? He's doing pretty good. Pretty good work. All right, so we've done one full pony rotation. Will he get two? He does not. Now the third skill. Yep. I've been trying to control that third skill, but it's not been happening. Um, sure. I think Wusa's third is probably pretty close to up. No, turns are so good. All right, um, we're gonna take it from the pony. Wusa's third was up, okay. So, what do we wanna do here? Let's shoot Verd through all his stuff. Let's just give that a go. That was pretty good. Pretty good damage through all that mess. All right, so now we're gonna taunt Verd. Bam. Nope, don't get the stun. And we're about to get uh, ponied again. So yeah, the issue I'm facing is no sustain, right? Like he's getting just enough every go around of his uh, heals to kind of hang out. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, we're going to go for the AoE, try to heal up a little bit. Pretty close there. It's not worth doing my third here, but I'm looking at the attack bars and I'm not a giant fan of how it's going to work out. Um, and I don't think it's worth just putting Bird to sleep, so... Doing okay damage there. Vert's gonna get a heal, right? Yep. But then I should get a turn here from my Lich, maybe? No, he's too slow. He got cut just in front of. Now he's gonna go after. He's thinking sniper, but the sniper's asleep, so he's like, I don't know. And he goes after Hathor. Alrighty. Oh, he really wants Hathor, doesn't he? So we go after this. Pretty good damage, but not a stun and not a kill. Also bad. Let's see if we can stun here. She doesn't glance, so that's... Aw, oh, man. <laughs> I'm like, I spent so much time trying to control you, and all you do is pony out. All right, so now we're going to go for the taunt on Bird. We didn't revenge for some reason. I guess because it was a revenge off of the taunt skill. That two-turn sleep was amazing for him. That was so great. Because I was needing, I was relying on that unit to finish off the uh, the pony. Well, Sniper's going to get some bar. Good job, Sniper. Way to get that bar. Oh, you're asleep again. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess I got to do the Verd here. Oh, we don't get it, but maybe we can get a stun. We do. We're getting close to like instant kills, right? We're getting close. Oh my God. They keep, they keep uh, sneaking out of my my control. They're slippery, man. They are slippery. Can't get them stunned. So the best thing about this match is he picked exactly what I wanted him to pick into my sniper. And you can kind of see the results, right? Like that's not great. <laughs> you, if you get exactly what you want, they let it through and you still get wrecked. That kind of shows um, some of the issues the unit might have. If they could change anything about his skill set to not require um, to not require despair, like I don't even think despair is great on him, but it does something, right? Like you want to you want the cutting in of turns to matter, right? You want it to have some sort of reason. Um, and currently, the way he cuts in, he cuts in, but then he does nothing, right? Like he cuts in, he does a little bit of damage, but his damage multiplier is so low that. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't affect the match it might affect like a lucian in a cleave situation all right so i guess we're 0 and 3 now um it might affect like a lucian like you might be able to ignore defense would be so good so good um but anything right any sort of um control or the ability to proc an extra turn or some sort of innate stun um kind of like what's his name the dark horus has a similar kind of a deal um, what do I actually want against a Vanessa? 
I guess I'll just take Hathor. The Dark Horus has the AoE um, ability, so it makes the Despair even better. And he gets his bar regardless, right? Like, the Sniper can get his bar more bursty, right? He can get a full bar from a, an opponent's buff, whereas the, the Dark Horus is going to get his bar every single turn no matter what, right? So he, he brings a little bit more to the table with the AoE. Um, I better get a heal this time. That was a mistake a while ago. So we're definitely going to bring Ager. Do we bring Bulwark? Maybe, but maybe not right away. We've got two forms of buff removal. No, three forms of buff removal. No forms of healing. So let's go ahead and bring Triana, because he might want it with a Vanessa. Um, so yeah, I think if they're going to do something to make him better, it needs to just make the cut matter more, if, if they want. I mean, they might they might be okay with the way it is right now. All right, so the Diana is a pretty big problem right now. Agar's not great, but it's not horrible. If I ban that, if I ban the Antares, I could bring an Ethna, right? Yeah, let's try that. Ban the Antares, bring the Ethna, and see if we can't get around the Josephine. I don't know that we're going to be able to, but we might. Bans that. Interesting. Okay. So he thought he was getting the Antares, is my guess, based on that ban. Resist. Crit. What am I resisting here? I'm resisting Vanessa, Fran, and Josephine versus critting more with Sniper and Triana. Eh. Yeah, we'll take crit. Why not? Tessa, that's a good call. Tessa would have been a good call. Three times you cut the pony. Yeah, my Antares seems to seems to do a pretty good job. I don't know. He seems to cut. Maybe there's a correct way to speed tune him that makes him cut. I don't know. Um, I have not like looked into that at all. But all right, so we're going to try to shut down the Fram and then get Josephined, which is okay. So we got the bar there from the Josephine. Now he's looking for who to stun or taunt. Probably the uh, Hathor, but the Hathor is off element. Like, the odds of taunting off element aren't great. Did we really get the stun on the Despair for the first time and then get procced again? That's great. <laughs> he procced into the cooldown being up and then uh, revenge stun my, my Light Sniper. Everybody hates Light Sniper. They're all about him. All right, all right, we get it. We get it. You hate all my units. So... If I don't take the defense break off, I think she's in real bad shape. So that's what we're going to do. And then hopefully get a full turn of Hathor going here, right? That's the hope. Maybe Josephine won't do her thing once. Nice stun. Man, this guy's on fire. All right, we're going to try to take all the bar from Josephine this time. If he he has her uh, passive up, this is completely the wrong play. I don't think she does, though. She does not. Perfect. We'll just go after her until we have another target. So now is he going to get a stun again? He gets the provoke off element. That's pretty impressive. So we're going to try to take that. We get it. Not bad damage. This thing might be on crit damage, which is how I like to build it. Oh no, that was lucky for him. Well, not lucky. That was 22% choice, um, but bad for me, right? So I don't think I care about the Josephine anymore. We're going to go to the Fran. And then we're going to put... The Diana to sleep, I think. And Josephine will do a thing. She's going to get turned anyway, though. I like the interplay between Josephine and the Sniper, though. That's kind of neat. Ah, oh, another turn. You know she's going to stun this time. She done missed twice. You can't let that girl try twice. She will mess you up. So I think her cooldown might even be up, but there's one way to find out, right? Nope, it's not up. Wait, it was up. It was just slow. It slow rolled me. We're doing okay damage to her. Maybe we can kill it with the Ethna, huh? Oh, never mind. I don't mean kill it. I mean, uh, because we can't kill it. There's Vanessa. Let's see how this does. This is not the ideal move into the Diana, but yeah, no. You do what you got to do. All right, let's see if we can't chop this Diana down. Pretty good chopping. Keep working on her. Make Fran heal her. That'll show her. No taunt up. Here's the taunt. Man, she she is, uh, 
She is on point, this Josephine. Oh, here comes the three. Skill three? No, just skill two. Additional turn. Do I have anyone on violent? It, you know, it doesn't feel like it. I've got two units on violent, but I don't feel the violent, you know? I don't feel the runes. <laughs> the way that those two units hate each other, I feel like there's a story there. Like, every time Josephine gets a crack at uh, the light sniper, she takes it, right? She's like, fine, I'll just taunt you then. You gonna snipe me? <laughs> it's just, there's something there. There's, there's some ethos, some pathos. Skill three, right? Yep. Sniper time. We're gonna take all the stuff off the pony. In theory. We do. Good job, sniper. Oh god, don't get defense broken. I need you alive. Um, yeah, you're gonna die to a pony because uh Triana can't save you. Where you're going, Triana can't follow. Big time. Super kill. Hey, that's a little payback there. My god, that sniper can't get a turn. The despair is uh, not doing anything and costing him 22% of the time. Like, he doesn't even have a chance. He's just stuck. Oh man, we're gonna get Josephine again. So no, we'll just, yeah, we have to. We gotta shut this down and get Josephine a little bit. Sniper again, maybe? No, he wants a stun. Go for Hathor. Oh, okay. Interesting. That worked out anyway. Oh, sniper. Your time is limited on this earth. All right, so now we're gonna take the full bar off Josephine because we know she doesn't ever think. She has her buff up. She can't proc out of this. If she does, then she's lying to me about how this game works. This is, this is a problem. Yeah, it was a problem. Oh my God, and an initial turn. She just took three turns. <laughs> she skill one into skill two into another turn. That is not great for me. Don't need that yet. Fran, you need to not proc this time. Remember last time when you procced and it was a bad thing? Don't do that this time. Additional turn again. So now she's taken five turns her last two moves. That's pretty good. All right. So this is kind of an important one. I think I got to do this and just deal with what Fran's going to do to me. It didn't even happen. And we procced. Darn. There was a slight window there of not fail and it, uh, it didn't work out. Because if she skilled threes, oh, she skilled twos. No, she'll get both. If she skilled threes, um, I wasted my buff removal, right? If I proc, I can at least do skill three again. I don't, I'm not bringing enough with the Hathor. And it's, I mean, it's obviously the sniper's fault, right? Like, first pick sniper is not working out. This might be our only, we've got one more round of this, but this might be our first 0 and 5 first pick whoever, you know? I believe in you, sniper. You've had your chances. But it's just, he's really easy to CC, isn't he? All right, we're 0 and 4. 0 and 4. Can we go 1 and 4? That's the goal. First pick Bulwark went 2 and 3. Yeah, Sniper's just not first pick material. But that's okay. That is okay. It's worth a shot. Just to see what happens. Really, the main thing we're learning is if you don't bring the right meta monster, um, you're opening yourself up to getting out picked in terms of effective units you know what i mean <laughs> what he wants to bomb um okay so if i what do i want to do here if i ban okay that's what i'll do i'll ban her and bring immunity right so we'll bring you and we'll ban his buff removal and then i need another fast unit i could bring yeah, we'll bring her. We'll bring double immunity right at the end. Yeah, okay. That's that's not as bad. Because I don't imagine his turn order is Juno, Gany, Libli, Sierra. I don't think that's probably his turn order. It might be. Um, but you know, I don't I don't expect that to be the case. So I think banning that is correct. And then we'll just see if we get bombed. Let's cleanse himself when he cuts. Ooh, that that's a good idea. Yeah. I don't know that they'll want to buff him. Um, I don't know that they need to buff him. The real One of the real issues is that he's attack type. Um, and so his stats are so low that it's a bit of an issue. Um, but, you know, like not every unit can be great. And he does something that's interesting. Some units do nothing that's even remotely interesting or connected. Like, Wind Cannon Girl? Like, what a mess. That thing's a mess. All right, so... 
That's good. I mean, it might turn into a bunch of dots, but... So if we taunt the Liebly, that gives us... Wait, I changed out of the ability to taunt. If we freeze the Liebly, that gives me at least a chance. Oh, okay, perfect. I mean, it's not great, because he's going to cool down something, but at least I'll get my cleanse. You think he'll one-shot my Vanessa? Is it that powerful? Or my uh, Fran? Oh, he doesn't even bomb. Interesting. So now we hate Liebly again. We just got to hate on Liebly every time, right? Because that is how we die. You've already done your thing. You don't get to do more things. You're done, Juno. No, <laughs> you're not done. You have a friend in uh, Ganymede, don't you? All right, Sniper. I don't think they're going to help us because they're not buffing. So you are a like a 225 despair unit in RTA. I feel like uh, that's not great. Good job, Pony. So he's never going to get a buff, right? So we're just going to just keep shooting. Do we even care about the heal? I don't think we do. Well, yeah, we're just going to keep trying to stun. At least we've got the attack break on him, right? Because this could be bad for Fran. Yeah. Can we proc? Oh, so close. Wait, we do. All right, so let's chain it. Just like that evil Vanessa from yesterday. Yesterday. Last match. Um, Sure. Hang in there, little Fran. Help's on the way. Sniper will get a turn eventually. What's he gonna do? He's kinda out of options here. He's just gonna keep Junoing. But I, I have the pony. His it's like his damage is Juno, right? Like dots via Juno. Which I can cleanse. But I don't know. We'll see. See? Immunity's so good. Um yeah, we'll go ahead and cleanse. Oh, we won! Sniper! Sniper! <laughs> One and four. One and four hurting our win rate, but that's okay. Um, yeah, we'll take it. We'll take that. I was That was my hope. That was my hope before we started. One and four. Let's take one more look at the MVP here. He's, uh, <laughs> yeah, he did nothing. That was the Amelia pick. Well, I feel like the only reason I won there is because he picked a bad comp. Like, he picked Liebly into like i don't think Liebly. i don't know whatever maybe that's how it works for him but it didn't seem to work out so here's sniper one more time slow as molasses um but if if someone cle tries to cleave i definitely feel okay bringing him because he could take you know the attack buff or whatever um but yeah don't first pick him get the only match where there are no buffs right uh good times all right well thanks uh youtube folks for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you next time take care everybody